shows me how hard that they want to work when they pick up a couple of drinks and I get and a lot of people don't do that, but uh, our crew does. Because they're, they're wanting to get to the top. So when you uh, see them down at Breakstone or you see them on TV. Make music the number one thing in their lives. If it's not number one in their lives, they're never going to make it. I mean, when it comes time to uh, write a song or go out with their friends, and they go out with their friends and forget that song, that might never happen again. And it could have been her career song or his career song. So that's what we do. So Michael, send me in, everybody. <laughs> I've been here 19 years, so I'm from Ohio originally. I went to Florida and then up here. I do radio down there and here. You're awesome. I appreciate, you. I appreciate what you do for musicians. Thanks for giving us a place to play and supporting us. And we just have, we get together every night and make music. That's what it's about. And hope people come. And every That's night people come. Oh, and yeah. the other, the third thing is, is we hope people too. Well, so whatever you can do on that end, you can help out Roger because every penny matters to these musicians. It's not uh, it's not taken lightly a dollar bill that goes in there or a twenty dollar bill that goes in there. For sure, yeah. You, know, you see a twenty going there, and your heart goes. It starts to race, you know. There's a lot of stuff we've got to pay for. Time for Roger McLaughlin, everybody, come on. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. <laughs> so. Well, we appreciate you giving us a place to play. It's, it's, this business is not easy, so it's nice to have people actually give you an opportunity to play. Some participation from the audience on the tip budgets. And, um, you know, here's, here's the funny thing. Is, for the longest time, I've talked about if everybody in the room would put one dollar in the bucket, it would work. I was a salesman. You are a very good salesman. Yeah, that's I, true. I was a salesman for 23 years in the automobile business. Well, that makes sense. And, and I spent six years selling God. That's, that's what it's about. And I still sell it. Yeah, that's right. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Family of the boys family. Yeah, yeah. So, if you would, put your hands together one more time for Arthur McLaughlin, everybody. Let's get some music going here. This this young man standing here with me, he's a, an amazing singer-songwriter, and uh, he uh, was on season 11 of The Voice. We got about 42 to 45 that have been on here, that play here. Pretty good roster. Yeah, a little bit of talent here. Good track, man. You uh, are ready for some music. We're going to give it to you. We got tip buckets down here. Please don't forget about those. Also, Josh has got his uh, CDs down here. Grab one. It's only uh, $30. And <laughs> yeah, right. Is it? 30 for three. For three. Yeah. That's what yeah. I was talking about. Oh, you get three. Yeah. All right. So, anyhow, enough of our foolishness. Please put your hands together. Make him welcome. All the way from Altoona, Pennsylvania, this is Mr. Josh Gallagher, everybody. All it takes, all it takes is that one yes. All it takes is that one yes. And that one yes will get you to here. And then from that yes, you'll get to here. You'll get to here and here and here. But this one yes that I got right here from the row here in Nashville, for me to be able to be on The Voice through a buddy of mine named Mike Peck, that one yes here at the row got me on The Voice and helped me launch to another dimension of my career that without this whole one yes, I wouldn't have been able to do. Today, today, right now, without all this, without that one yes here at the row, I wouldn't be able to do the things that I do right now. So, first of all, that they got um, good stage presence. Um, and that I can tell by them just walking in that they carry themselves the right way, that they're going to be successful, at least on stage. The right kind of confidence, 
Um, if they come in with no confidence whatsoever, we're not going to have a place for them. Um, can they sing? <laughs> you know, and that I normally have done some homework on, where I've, I've heard, heard them on Instagram or on YouTube or something like that. We we'll give them a shot. They get one shot. One shot only. So I always tell them, make me go wild. Well, they keep saying that bro country is gonna go by the wayside and traditional country is gonna come back. It's all got its, a special place in the business. You can, you can enjoy traditional country and you can enjoy the bro country, the pop country. And uh, there really hasn't uh, been too much change in the last five to 10 years. Um, that I can say, um, it's it's strictly how they keep writing songs that way. And once uh, once they stop writing songs that way and write them a different way, then it will change again. It may not be traditional. It may be electronic. Who knows? <laughs> so it's just exciting to see where music goes each and every day. Mike Peck knows the music industry very well and has an eye for talent. He's booked tons of gifted musicians around the Nashville area to play at the row. He was a DJ for about 19 years, then moved here to Nashville. He has a cultured perspective of recognizing talent from being a DJ and now booking talented musicians here. I've seen firsthand how he gets quality people who are hardworking and talented to sing every single night at the row. He has a wealth of knowledge and I enjoy hearing some of his stories about famous musicians that he knows. He's booked people like Rascal Flats and Florida Georgia Line over at The Row, just to name a few. Mike can be really funny and a lot of entertainment when he's talking to the musicians during the show. It's always a fun show over at The Row and you can just tell by being around Mike that he loves music and he's passionate about finding talent and helping them make it mainstream one day. Mike has played a big part in so many musicians' lives around here in Nashville, and he's earned a ton of respect from them. You should go follow him on Instagram at Upper Level Artist. I'll put the exact name in the description. Hey, hope y'all enjoyed this episode of Nashville Journey. It's free to subscribe to my page as well if you enjoyed this. Thanks again for watching.